on it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Malicious Black Beauty, your poet, Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, this is going to be a matchmaker reading. So <laughs> we're going to see... Um, what's going on okay now these are either couples that's already together couples that are coming together or something here okay oh goodness so we have pisces and scorpio <laughs> what's going on with uh how do i want to do this okay hold on let's see the first uh, matchmaker we have is pisces and scorpio spirit what's the next matchmaker i was going to do them individually but i think i'm just going to put like Four different oh groups out here. I see Capricorn. Capricorn flew out of there. Is this one? Oh. Gemini. <clears throat> this is in the reverse though. Capricorn, Gemini, in reverse. Goodness. I normally don't even take these. I'm like, I don't take my cards in reverse. Like, eight, they, damn. They coming out like this. They have to come out, like, literally fall out in the reverse. This is a Sagittarius in the reverse. <clears throat> Those that's in the reverse is, is some negative damn energy, bro. Sir, what's the next matchmaker? Who's the matchmaker with the Sagittarius? Ooh. Hold on, guys. We have Libra, Sagittarius and Libra both are in the reverse. Like, this is, that's a toxic-ass relationship, bro. I don't know what's going on. Spirit, what's the next matchmaker, please? Next matchmaker. Oh, my goodness, Aries is in the reverse. Y'all, look, I kid you not, they're falling out like this. All of my cards are in the upright. They're falling out like that. Who is uh, the matchmaker with Aries? Leo in the upright. Uh, the couples that we have here that uh, are of the same element, these could actually be soulmate or twin flame couples here. But, I mean, the individuals in these couples who are in the reverse, they are in some, like, negative, toxic-ass energy, okay? So, once again, guys, these are couples that are either already together. These are matchmade couples that's already together or coming together, okay? This is trippy. I don't even know where this is. Like, where do I start? Like, where is this even going to go? Um, wow. Okay. Spirit, uh, what's going on with, with this Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio, matchmaker, Pisces, Scorpio, matchmaker, Spirit. Hmm. So I see, <laughs> I see the sun here. I also seen, uh, we're going to see if it comes back out, okay? This couple may have happiness, abundance, new beginnings, um, fresh starts in their relationship. Um, this might be a close bond. Spirit is saying, see good in all things. What else is going on with this couple, Spirit? 
this couple is definitely like going to get money together. Like they're going to have abundance. If they do have abundance, if this is a couple that's already together, yeah. The sun and the will of fortune here. So definitely happiness, abundance, fulfillment. Uh, they finance is money, resources, stability, and security is going to be like on point. Like, Spirit, what's going on with this? Um, it's Capricorn and Gemini in reverse. Capricorn, Gemini in reverse. Oh. Oh my goodness. So we have here, keep your distance. Stay away from the enemy. Capricorn, you could be sleeping with the enemy, baby. If y'all already together, or if you are hooking up with this person, spirit is saying, choose your, you know, you need to choose your friends, your lovers, your associates wisely, okay? When somebody show you who they really are, believe them, okay? You need to, to, to step away from those who don't have your, um, you know, your highest good or serve, you know, have your best interest at heart, okay? You sleeping with the enemy, Mm -mm. Spirit, what else is going on with this um, Capricorn Gemini in the reverse reading? Why is this Gemini in the reverse? That's what we want to know. I seen it. Y'all can definitely be in a this y'all might be a um this might be an LGBT community, multi-sexual lovers card here, okay? So y'all could be gay, uh, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered, or anything of the such. Um, Spirit, what's going on with this Gemini in reverse? Why is Gemini in the reverse? Oh, child. This Gemini is a money-hungry gold digger. Capricorn, this Gemini is only with you for money. This person is using you for money. This person feel like time is money, so stop wasting it. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. This person is a money-hungry gold digger. That's why Spirit is telling you to keep your distance and stay away from the enemy, okay? You've probably already seen, if you're already with this person, you've already seen this person's true colors. Like, a, man, a Gemini in the reverse is, oof. Some kind of awful, okay? Like, this person could be explosive. They could be cutthroat and ruthless and... Oh, goodness. Yeah, but but Capricorn, you're sleeping with the enemy, honey, okay? And whoever you with is a money-hungry gold digger. Like, seriously. So this person could be using you for money, even if you all are not... Whether you all are part of the LGBT community or not... Um, you definitely sleeping with the enemy and, and somebody is a money hungry gold digger, period. Spirit, so what's going on with the Sagittarius in reverse and the Libra in reverse here? Sagittarius in reverse, Libra in reverse. There's a lot of secrets. Sagittarius, you could be keeping secrets from your person here. We have the moon here, okay? So we know the moon talks about secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark, um, sneaky, freaky, creepy things, low down and dirty things, dilemmas, shit going on late at night in the wee hours of the morning, going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind someone's back. It can even speak to criminal activity, but it, you know, it talks about sneaking around, hiding things. Um, there could even be something sinister going on, shady people, dirty dealings, decisions being made, but something is going on in secret behind someone's back here somebody is sneaking and creeping around no doubt so what's going on with liver both of y'all a whole nother moon card want to come out y'all could be like partners in crime criminal activity going on or either both of y'all are just keeping secrets from one another what's going on with this liver in a reverse spirit what's going on with this liver in a reverse So I have the masculine here, okay? So whoever this Libra in the reverse is, is a masculine, okay? This Sagittarius is in the reverse too. This person could be controlling, could be bossy, could be very fiery. Um, they get outrage, you know, they could have like outrageous type of outburst or anger. Um, they get mad as hell and... 
but you know a liberal in the reverse this is somebody else is going to be real slick at the mouth real cutthroat and ruthless and brutally honest with what they got to say and but there's some type of secrets there's some type of secrets here there could be some third party situations that's going on with you uh in, in you all's relationship here spirit what's going on with the aries in reverse and leo Aries in reverse and Leo. So I have karmic here. This Aries in the reverse is a karmic. Manipulative, deceiving, full of drama. They're codependent. They could be childish, uh, demonic, demonically possessed. They're two-faced. They're emotional abusers. They're annoying, a hater, um, possibly a bully, a habitual liar, a backstabber, very aggressive, so anxious. They could come off as lazy or crazy or have a bad attitude or be ignorant. Um, they act like they have no love in their hearts, you know, be kind of mean, surly, evil, wicked, or just a heartbreaker. So what's going on with this Leo? Y'all may be on the... <laughs> Y'all may be on the verge of breaking up. What's going on with this Leo? Yeah, I see every ending is a new beginning. The future is ahead. Okay, so something might be coming to an end in you all's relationship with this Aries in the reverse, this Leo in the upright. This Leo in the upright is a masculine as well here. You a manly man type of guy. You might lift weights. You're big, uh, a big coffee. Or not, it doesn't necessarily have to be coffee, but you're a big caffeine drinker. So whether you like coffee or teas or energy drinks or... Um, sodas, um, you like caffeinated drinks, okay? Um, you could be a businessman, construction worker. Um, you could be an outdoors type of guy. You like the outdoors. Uh, you could be a handsy man. Um, I don't feel like you're, you're not overly emotional, but sometimes you can come off as not so affectionate either. Um, unless, of course, you're like, having sex or you know in the mood for that or whatever you're definitely a beer kind of guy you're strong you're hard working um you could have come off as a bit controlling some type you're tough gus um you can have an attitude but i feel like your attitude may come from may be triggered by your partner who is in the reverse okay so um at which time you come off as harsh or a bit temperamental okay um you're in a relationship with a karmic though straight up straight up okay guys so this is what's going on <laughs> let's see what other messages we get here spirit what's going on with this pisces scorpio um matchmaker what? so we got heaven sent girl i don't know who this for heaven sent you all may be heaven sent you know for each other to each other um, so you're clear for this Capricorn and this Gemini in the reverse. Capricorn and this Gemini in the reverse. Capricorn, you may feel like I see that. I see friends with benefits. But you may like be one to be like more serious with this person, but this person is good with friends with benefits because all they really care about is the benefits. Somebody straight up using you for money. Um. So to clarify this Sagittarius in the reverse and this liver in the reverse, we have stuck stand together for the sake of the kids here. Somebody's got some type of secret though. Somebody might be sneaking and creeping around behind the scenes, behind somebody's back though. So to clarify this Aries in the reverse and the Leo in the upright. Oh shit. Somebody might be being used for sex with mm -hmm. So what's going on with this um Aries in the reverse and the Leo in the upright? Oh, so we have bad romance here, okay? Y'all just have a bad, toxic romance here, okay? Y'all could argue a lot, fight a lot, disagree a lot. Um, we got codependent lovers, family, and friends at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, so um, 
That's what's going on, y'all. This is interesting. This this Pisces and Scorpio came out like this. I I wonder who this is. Okay, Spirit, clarify um, this Pisces Scorpio matchmake. Well, damn. Y'all got the Nine of Cups? Hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true? Happiness? Like, y'all could really, like, really fulfill each other in some type of way. Two of Cups, yeah. which talks about love. It talks about partnerships, relationships. Um, as well, do you have the sun here? Okay, so again, happiness, abundance, fulfillment. For star, two of cups here. At the bottom of the deck here. So that's you all's energy, both of you all's energy. With the two of wands that sits in behind that as well. Like, there y'all go, there y'all go. Queen of cups, two of wands, and the knight of cups. This is like y'all's energy here, okay? So it's like y'all, the two of ones talks about clear vision, okay? You all have both come to like the conclusion together. Like you're on one accord. Y'all both have clear vision, have made the decision to be together and uh, to passionately take action and move forward to what you all want here. The feminine inspiration ship may be a little bit older, than this other person here but that's what's going on with y'all honey spirit clarify this capricorn and this uh gemini in the reverse capricorn and this gemini in the reverse capricorn you could um you often reminisce about the past okay you could be reminiscing or um yeah reminiscing on the past thinking back on the past you definitely want things to change in your current relationship um you may not be happy or fulfilled which is why you think back or reminisce on the past and different things like that you definitely want something to shift or change here okay because look at that ace of pentacles here the person that you with is all about money here okay and the four of swords sits in behind that so th this person may hurt you Four of Swords talks about one needing healing or recovery or um, needing to recuperate or recover from a situation here. But it could also talk about um, someone being hurt. You might be with somebody who is like abusive towards you. Yeah, spirit is saying that's the truth. That's clarity. You and somebody that's abusive towards you and using you for money? Ten of swords. Betrayal, disloyalty. I also see the three of cups here. There could be some type of third party situations going on. That's fucked up. Ugh. Spirit, clarify the Sagittarius in reverse and uh, Libra in the reverse. So we have the Eight of Swords here, okay? This is it's, it's interesting, y'all got the Eight of Swords because of the, um, the card that came out here stuck staying together for the sake of the kids. Somebody literally feels stuck in this relationship. Like somebody feels stuck, restricted, unable to move, unable to get out of this situation. Like look at this person. He is sweating, honey. He is tired. He is fed up with this situation, honey. But he's trying, somebody is trying to do the right thing for the sake of their children or something like that or what have you yeah because there's lying there's cheating there's deceptions there's manipulations there's somebody is sneaking and creeping around bro somebody is definitely cheating there's definitely third party situations going on because somebody is not happy in this relationship y'all are both in the reverse okay so somebody is definitely cheating okay yet y'all are staying stuck together y'all staying together just for the sake of the kids here yeah that's the reason why we got the moon here so many secrets here y'all might even be married because like single people who got i mean not single people but just people who are 
dating who have kids together, okay? Look, if when it ain't going right and it's over, it's just over, okay? And if y'all good parents, y'all find a way to co-parent together, okay? But, you know, only, usually only, like, married couples, um, you know, make that, make that sacrifice of what they desire, what they want to stay in the relationship at least until the kids get 18, until the kids get grown and leave the house, and then y'all decide to go y'all separate ways, but it's really an unhappy, uncomfortable relationship, and usually only married couples do that, okay? So this might be a couple that's married, but somebody feels like they stuck in a situation they restricted, they unable to move, they unable to get out of this situation, but there's lying and cheating going on, sneaking and creeping going on, there's deception, there's manipulation, there's a lot of secrets with the moon, <laughs> which talk four of wands here, y'all are married, that's a married couple, for sure, somebody is traveling to cheat, like, uh, somebody's job may require them to travel or if, if, if not this person is, is definitely somebody is definitely driving to someone to go and see them if this person has a job where they travel they are definitely got on the road booty calls okay yeah, the masculine in this relationship is, is or excuse me the Sagittarius in this relationship is a masculine we got the king of wands here <clears throat> and we got the lovers here. So this this masculine is definitely <laughs> the one that's cheating. He's hiding relation, uh, you know, other relationships here. That's the reason why you got the seven of swords and the moon here. And this sits here with the king of wands and the um, the lovers here. So um, he's definitely got other lovers. He feels stuck in this marriage, um, you know. And y'all are just staying together for the sake of the kids. But I feel like the love was out the door like a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, with the world at the bottom of the deck, y'all are on the verge of breaking up. Like, you don't know understand what I'm saying? Like, one real bad situation, it'll be like, you know what? Forget it. The kids will get over it. Um, type of thing. Spirit, clarify Aries in the reverse, Leo in the upright. Aries in the reverse, Leo in the upright, Spirit. Aries in the reverse, Leo in the upright. Somebody could be kind of lazy. Leo, are you paying for sex? I see the hermit here and the three of pentacles here. Um, <clears throat> we're going to see. So what's going on with this Aries in the reverse? This karmic energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This person has sex for money. That's exactly what is going on. This person has sex for money. Like, if you're in a serious committed relationship, this person is definitely, um, you know, having sex for money. Okay? But with that three of pentacles here, like, you could be paying this person for sex here. Okay? Like, that's what this person do for money. Like, for work. I got the nine of wands here. There's a lot of defensiveness and hostility in this relationship here. Um, I, this Aaliyah wants to move on to calmer waters, though. Like, I feel like you want to move away, we'll move on to something else, something better. It's just a better romance like spirit is saying this person is a karmic they're in the reverse so they could be very childish codependent yeah this is just a third party you're paying this person for sex queen of wands 
both of these are fire signs so either one of these persons could be coming out is the queen of wands here this is definitely a third party situation somebody is like in mental conflict over this like somebody wants to move on wants to move away from this situation here like this person may have started off as a side piece and kind of became clingy or obsessed or something like that and y'all may have been rocking and doing your all's thing or whatever but i feel like this leo is definitely not happy in this situation here this person somebody is an emperor this leo could be an emperor this is somebody in power maybe or you could be a father a father figure you might be the baby daddy This, this situation definitely brings about a lot of burdens. Yeah, a lot of burdens. I'm seeing that Three of Pentacles again, okay? There's a lot of burdens and hardships, problematic situations that come from this little matchup between you all here, okay? Um, there's a lot based on money as well here, okay? I definitely feel like you are paying for sexual relations with this person here, with this Queen of Wands. This Leo is paying for sexual relations with this person here, okay? That's what's going on, y'all. Okay, so let's pull you all some, um, some romance oracle. Spirit, give us a romance oracle for this Pisces and this Scorpio matchup. Spirit saying, soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate, okay? So there is a Pisces-Scorpio match, um... That is already together or coming together in spirit is saying, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. Um, spirit clarify Capricorn and Gemini in the reverse. Capricorn and Gemini in the reverse. Somebody wants to, somebody wants a reconciliation. Somebody wants to reconcile, but spirit is also telling you to free yourself. Okay? It's like you want to make up with this person, but this person is doing things to hurt you. This person is also using you for money. Spirit is saying it's time for you to take back control of your life. You may need to free yourself from this situation here. Since I got you two, I guess I'll get um, Pisces Scorpio two. So, Pisces, Scorpio, this is new love, okay? So, this is a situation that might not have even come together yet, okay? This is your soulmate and is a new love, okay? Um, Spirit, clarify uh, Sagittarius in reverse, Libra in reverse. Oh, religious factors, okay? So, this is the reason why you all haven't broke your vows, um, you're not happy, you're not fulfilled, somebody, is. this is, it is interesting when I hear that people do this, you're perfectly fine with cheating, I mean, you, you mess around and watch deadly women, or, you know what I'm saying, snapped or some shit, some of these people be radically religious, and they will kill before they get a divorce, okay, they will cheat, before they get of a, a damn divorce like they would do some of everything and these be people that be so worried about sin and sold this and sold that but it's like it's 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 like frowned upon in a lot of religions if you get a freaking divorce but like you know lying cheating and killing and shit you know oh god I forgive you just repent for your sins like what the hell anyway guys that was a little side note that I be seeing be going on with these situations. But religious factors, okay, is the reason why you all are staying stuck together for the sake of the children, okay? Um, because um, this is definitely an unhappy relationship. This is the reason why you have the Eight of Swords with the Four of Wands here. Y'all feel stuck, restricted, unable to move or get out of this situation. At least one of you do. This King of Wands here, which is the Sagittarius in the reverse, he has other lovers here. He might even travel for work. Uh, if he don't travel outside the state, he definitely is traveling and meeting up with someone here because he is keeping secret. He is sneaking and creeping around. He is cheating um, with the moon energy being here as well here, okay? And the seven of swords here, okay? But religious factors is what's keeping you all together. Um, 
and y'all y'all are staying stuck together for the sake of your children okay i also see here let your friends help you so spirit is telling you to ask and accept support from others here okay so y'all might need to you know reach out to to others who can help you all sort out your situation like I, I i just don't feel like people should stay together if you're not happy everybody deserves to be happy everybody deserves to be respected and loved and treated right it's not fair to yourself and it's not fair to the other person if you stay with them and you don't love them you don't care about them and you know what i'm saying because all you're going to do is go back and forth with hurting one another okay and then all of that build up every time there's a disagreement or an argument or a misunderstanding with you all it's going to build up it's going to build up it's going to build up and one day it's going to come really really explosive and somebody's going to get really really hurt you're going to say things and do things that you 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 know you you shouldn't and you don't mean and different things like that or whatever um <clears throat> and like i said i feel like everybody deserves love everybody deserves to be happy everybody deserves to be pleased and fulfilled and different things like that but at the same time i'm very open-minded because sometimes things just don't work sometimes people grow apart sometimes people fall out of love some you know um there's different situations that happen and sometimes you can work on things and you can better things and you can counsel things and things work out fine or y'all can separate for a while and you know get back together and different things like that or whatever just depending on your situation okay but um like i'm the type of person like i would not stay in a relationship with somebody just for money it is so selfish to be with somebody that you don't like, you don't love, you're not happy with, but you want everything they got. That is the most selfish shit I have ever heard in my life. I just wouldn't. But it's a lot of gold diggers who will, okay? It's a lot of women out here who are married or coupled up with guys who, you know, have substantial amounts of income and they put up with, with uh, whatever and go through whatever just because they live comfortably, okay? And because of the money and different shit, but that's that's garbage, okay? Because you're not even doing you're not doing yourself any favors by doing that. You're not you're not doing the other person any favors by doing that. At the end of the day, you're both unhappy, you're both unfulfilled, okay? And you all become more and more distant from each other, okay? And then when somebody ends up stepping out or getting with somebody else, then, you know, it becomes a whole nother problem. Oh, you hurt me! But you ain't looking at the fact that y'all have been having problems leading up to that. Y'all have slowly been and surely been, you know further and further apart the the intimacy the romance and none of that is there so you can't fault a person for then deciding to to be with someone else you understand what i'm saying it's crazy but you have a lot of situations just like that and a lot of people say in situations like that just because of the simple fact that they're freaking selfish and it's absolutely ridiculous okay um it's just not okay. But, and I do understand putting a whole lot more effort in a marriage, okay? I feel totally different about a marriage than, than I do when you're just dating someone, okay? There's a respect factor and level and different things or whatever. But, you know, like I said, sometimes things happen and sometimes people fall apart. So, you know, people get in and out of relationships all the time. Marriage is a commitment on a whole nother level okay so you, of course you're going to put more time more effort more everything into that me personally i would not cheat in a marriage okay um if it got if you have explained to your partner look i'm not happy this that and the other let's work on this that and the other let's fix this that and the other and your partner is not willing to you've tried that y'all tried counseling y'all tried every you know spicing up the relationship you've tried try everything you possibly can to make the marriage work if it does not then as adults, y'all should be able to come together and have a civilized conversation with each other and decide to go your separate freaking ways, separate until you can get a divorce or whatever, and y'all both decide y'all going to see other people like that or whatever. That's how I would do it in a marriage, but a lot of times it don't go like that, especially when people got their feelings and their hormones and they, you know, all other shit wrapped up into shit. Sometimes people make mistakes. People do make mistakes, okay? But just because people make mistakes doesn't necessarily always make them a horrible, awful, bad freaking person, okay? 
But at the same time, um, most people cheat for a reason, okay? A lot of times something led to something here or whatever. Um, but at the end of the day, it's very selfish to be... Um, because you have a lot of people who have relationships like that. You're not happy with who you're with. You don't love them. You don't care about them. You're not even willing to put forth the effort to making the relationship work. But you, you don't want nobody else to have them. That is some selfish shit. Me and my ex was together uh, for 11 years, okay? I knew it was over after six years. I stayed the last five years to prove to my ex that my spiritual, but you know, because the whole during that time I was going through, I was having an awakening, um, spirituality was enhancing and everything like that. I say the last five years to prove to my ex, this is not about me checking up with somebody else, been in a relationship with somebody else, that's just going to have sex with somebody else. I, I'm not married. I have free will to do what I want to do with my own body, just as you do. Um, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? If this was about that, I could have been done that. So I literally say extra five years, but we coexisted well together. We paid bills on time together, you know, took care of my child, you know, all kind of things or whatever. We just had an orderly fashion, the way we did things. And in the first part of our relationships, we didn't even argue about nothing. We didn't even fight about nothing. Like when it came down to it, like by the time I realized I was a target and... I had a bunch of ops around me that was working again. This is when it was like, you know, it's one thing for you to fuck over me. When I realized that my child is in danger, now I got to move around. You know what I'm saying? And it took the most high lifting the veil from my eyes and showing me people's true colors that I was able to see what was going on right around me. And I'm like, oh, no, you know what I'm saying? I, You know what I'm saying? It's one thing for me to be in danger. It's something else entirely for me to feel like I have my daughter in danger or whatever. So I had to get up on my ass and shake and move and make things happen and different things like that. But the most high had to show me these things first or whatever. But I kid you not, in the last five years, like even though me and my ex, we still live together and we still coexisted together and everything or whatever, we wasn't having sex. We wasn't having sex. Um, maybe every once in a while, if it was a special occasion, her birthday, my birthday, you know, something like that or whatever. But we just did not because I was going through this whole spiritual. But I had already told my ex, look, I'm just, I don't bite. I'm the type of person that I don't bite my tongue. I was actually done with women before I even met my ex. Being with my ex was like an accident. I just happened to tell, I don't, I've never approached anybody ever in my life. Everybody has always come to me and I've never had to be single. But this one in particular, so I just happened to go somewhere and eat and I just happened to notice her. I just said she was cute, okay? My ex ended up hunting me down like sea biscuit, and you know, we got to wrap it and that's how it happened. I left, went to California. She begged me to come back. I came back. To, was supposed to be getting the rest of my stuff, getting my affairs in order going back to California, but I ended up staying. And that's how we ended up together. She was with somebody else at the time that all of this happened. So, you know, anyway, long story short. But anyway, I went through all that to say. I did that for my ex the last five years. It didn't matter how unhappy, you know, or unfulfilled I was in the relationship. This going through this awakening, spirituality, making a decision. I told my ex at the beginning of our relationship I saw that I said if this is my last time I said if this does not work I said I'm gonna put all my effort into it if this does not work I will not be with another woman again because I made a promise to God and I told her so I made it work as long as I possibly could we stayed together for 11 years and after that I've not been with another woman and that was like <laughs> y'all that was like I've been single and celibate for about as long as me and my ex were together now it's been like 10 years like nine since years since me and my ex have been together. So it's been about, almost about the same amount of time that me and my ex were together. But I said all that to say, not just to be throwing my business out there, but I'm an open book. So, you know, I tell you all, most people just won't come to you and ask you some shit. Me and my ex did not break up because of no cheating shit. I would be a fool and naive to believe that my ex was not talking to anybody else, doing anything else. I would never fault her for such a thing. First of all, we wasn't married. Second of all, is her body is her damn choice. I know she was. 
You understand what I'm saying? If I'm not giving you any, I would be a fool to believe that all of a sudden you no longer have needs, you no longer have hormones, you no longer are going to talk to anybody else, deal with anybody else. That's just what it was. It just so happened that we still ended, we stayed living together, uh, coexisting together for another five years. Everybody don't have an open mind frame like that. You understand what I'm saying? And so... Um, when it comes to the, the, those things like that, a lot of people can be a lot, very ignorant in, 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 in their relationships because all you're worried about is what you want, what you desire, what you expect, and you don't care about another person's feelings. And, you know, whether a situation is going right for you or not, y'all would be surprised. There's a whole lot of people. You got women right now who hate their baby daddies to death. Send them men through hell and high water by seeing their children. And all I'm talking about decent baby daddies that actually want to see their children, spend time with their children and, and, and taking care of their children or paying child support or just not even on child support but because they take care of their children like they're supposed to or whatever. But they dealing with a disgruntled ass baby mama. Why? This bitch didn't do what she needed to do for y'all to stay in a relationship together. But she sent that man through hell and high water just because he was somebody else. So his new girlfriend or his new wife, you sending her through all kind of unnecessary problems when y'all should all be co-parents together. Y'all should be like besties. Y'all should be like good, good friends. At least on a sociable fucking level. You understand what I'm saying? It's like that all over the world. And you don't want them back. That chick might not even want them back. You just want, you still want control over his life and you want control of his money. And you use his children as a pawn and you make his life a living hell with anybody else that he decide to be with. That is fucked up. That is not right. You got people who are in relationships with people right the hell now. You're not happy. You're not fulfilled in your relationship, but you're still holding on to that person because you can't stand you obsessive. And you can't stand the, the thought of somebody else being with what you don't want. If you don't want it, why should it matter if, if, if anybody else is with that person? You understand what I'm saying? You got a lot of men like that. I mean, a person cannot show you passion, love, romance, take you out on a date, make you feel special, or any damn thing like that. But as soon as somebody, this person feels like, realize somebody else is paying you some attention, doing some things for you that they didn't, they wasn't fucking done, then all of a sudden they mad. Then all of a sudden they ready to fight and act a fool and all this other kind of shit. But you couldn't even get that much passion up out of them when y'all was together. Y'all be surprised. How people act. But I just think it's totally unfair. Okay? It's not fair to yourself and it's not fair to the other person. There's a lot of selfish people in this world, guys. But I just wanted to tell y'all that real quick. So we're going to clarify this Aries in the reverse and this Leo. This Aries in the reverse. This look, this Aries in the reverse. This person is codependent. This says codependencies. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person is codependent. They may have some type of, may have sex addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions. Um, this person definitely have money addictions here. This is somebody you are paying for sex here. Yeah, and Spirit is telling you, Leo, stay optimistic about your love life, okay? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, okay? But this little side piece here that you got, this person is codependent, okay? Um, they have codependency issues. They have addictions and different things. And this is just not, it's a bad romance. It's not working out here, okay? That's the reason why you're dealing with burdens and hardships. Um, with this person, with this situation, yeah. So that's what's going on there, guys. That was your um, romance oracles. So let's get y'all some closing messages, and we're going to wrap this reading up. Pisces, Scorpio, some one of y'all, somebody, you're going to get a love call. Somebody expresses their love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know, okay? So, like I told you, this is a new love here, okay? This is not somebody you've known before. This is somebody new. I do feel like this Pisces Scorpio situation, this is not a situation that has come together yet, okay? But this person may know of you or may have seen you before or something like that. But there's going to be some type of love message that comes to you 
or something like that, okay? Spirit, clarify Capricorn, um, Capricorn and Gemini in the reverse. So I see not today here. This says not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundary, still angry here, okay? So y'all could like be angry. There, I see lightning here at the bottom of the deck. So there could be some type of sudden change with you all. Shocking news, a surprise, an epiphanies, an upheaval, some type of transformation or something. Something happened, happened all of a sudden out the blue with you guys here. So to clarify, uh, Sagittarius in reverse and Libra in reverse. Sagittarius in reverse and Libra in the reverse. Mm -hmm. So we have heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attacks here. Okay, somebody feels stabbed in the back by the person who's cheating. Somebody feels stabbed in the back by somebody. We have mask here with uh, Aries in the reverse and Leo in the upright. Not showing true feel feelings, hiding, personified, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Somebody is gaslighting somebody in this situation here. We do have twin flames at the bottom of the deck, okay? So like I said, um, some of you all... Some of these couples may be twin flame couples here, okay? Y'all the yin to each other's yang, okay? Usually um, twin flame, those of you who are twin flames, um, y'all supposed to have yin and yang type of zen energy, okay? There's supposed to be a balance between you all, union, duality, coupling, um, um, complete, you know, you know, there's supposed to be like this completement of each other with, you know, or whatever, but these are some really toxic situations. Capricorn, you're dealing with somebody who's using you for money and abusing you in some type of way. Leo, you dealing with a, 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 a codependent side piece, okay? Um, <laughs> and um, Sagittarius masculine, you stuck in a marriage that you really want out of, but you're staying stuck in it for the sake of the kids, but you are sneaking and creeping around um, with somebody behind somebody's back. So, you, you know, somebody could feel stabbed in the back by you. Y'all could really not be happy in that relationship, guys, okay? So that is what is going on here, guys. I do hope that this is giving you the truth and the clarity that you are seeking pertaining to the situation that you could be dealing with. Um... So we have here on Pisces, Scorpio, real quick, guys, you speak to me through music here, okay? So Pisces, Scorpio, um, you could be, you and your, you and your soulmate could be, could be communicating with each other through music, okay? Capricorn, Gemini, I lost myself for a little while, okay? So I feel like you feel like you've lost yourself in this relationship for a while. Maybe you... Mm. Maybe you got all up in your head about this situation. Maybe, you know, um, seduction, habits, addictions or something um, kept you stuck to the situation. You just got in way too deep um, with this situation. But it really doesn't please you. It really doesn't make you happy. You're really unhappy. You keep reflecting back over the past and reminiscing back over the past Um um, it, cause maybe in your past, uh, it was a calmer situation. It was a more homely, homey type of situation. It was a more settled family oriented type of situation here. And this is a really toxic thing here. Okay. And it's, it's just stupid being used for money and being abused at the same time. is just fucked up. Okay. Um, Sagittarius reverse Libra and Libra in reverse. I bury myself in work to forget you. <laughs> Um, this masculine, like, really is over this marriage. This person will do anything. This person buried themselves in work, so they might stay at work all the time, and in between them working, they sneaking and creeping around with a little side piece every now and then, just to forget about, like, this person, <laughs> this person, um, like, what what is the word I'm looking for? They, like, um dread going home at night to their wife <laughs> that's not funny but my god 
Spirit, clarify Aries in the reverse um, and Leo. I couldn't let you get close to me. So, uh, Leo, you could be refusing to allow this codependent person to get close to you. Maybe um, because you know that... Mm. Not unless you want to turn your hole into a housewife, but you know, hey, that works for some <laughs> in this day and time, you know. You got a lot of uh, people in that lifestyle who's getting the ring um, well before, you know, nice conservative women these days, you know, but hey. But you're like, with I couldn't let you get close to me here. I feel like you like deal with this person. It's like, it almost seemed like a come and go type of situation here. Yet it's, it seems like it's, it's like, um, it's been going on long enough. Like it seems regular, like a girlfriend, boyfriend type of thing, but maybe it hasn't been made official like that, but you still feel burdened by this person in some type of way. Maybe this person is really clingy and needy. You know, co co people are codependent in various different ways, guys, okay? But, um, yeah. That's what's going on here, y'all. So I do hope that this is giving you the truth and the clarity that you are seeking. Pertaining to a situation that you are dealing with, if we did not get to your um, matchmake um today then perhaps we will on another reading you all please like share and subscribe um for those of you who would like to contact me you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com you can also follow me on instagram which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word for anyone who is interested in um donating to the channel you can do so through cash app which is dollar sign tip diamond 36 or um through paypal which is paypal.me slash add 36 diamond as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings, and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't going to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.